Country Music to the World. Welcome back, everybody. We have uh, Scotty Rock here in the building. TapDetroit.com. Yeah, how you guys doing, man? Detroit, turn up. Here with Dos Lopez. We getting it popping. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing great. You know, I just mm -hmm. uh, did a little something at the crib before I came here. You know, a little swisher. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. <laughs> yeah, we had a, uh, we smoked a J here before. Um, I started and it was, it was awesome. I wish I, I brought some stuff. I was going to, but then, uh, I don't know. I was just like so happy that I got my car back <laughs> and everything. But, um, that's okay though. It happens, you know. Oh, you know how it goes. Mm -hmm. You know, life throws mysterious twists at us and somehow we just roll with the punches and mm -hmm. just somehow we're still here. We're still breathing. We're still blessed by God and that's all that matters. Yes, yes, for sure. That is, that is true. Yes. <laughs> So, um, you said you go, do you go by Scotty Rock? Yeah, I go by Scotty Rock. Uh, my company is Legacy Studios MI. We've been out here for a long time. Used to have a, a studio right down Detroit. Now it's down river. And, uh, been out here a long time producing music. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's so cool. And is Scotty Rock your name? Or did you, did you? Actually, a guy how, that. What, how did you come up with it? A guy, I used to go by another name, a name I will not disclose right now, <laughs> but uh, a guy was sitting there and um, he kept saying, Scotty Rocks, Scotty Rocks, when I had my first studio, and this was 10 years ago, mm -hmm. and he's like, Scotty Rocks, he's like, that should be your name, Scotty Rock. Well, from there, all his group of people started calling me Scotty Rock, mm -hmm. and so I just went with the punches, I said, <laughs> you know what, I'm just going to bite the bullet and take this one, because this is a sweet name as it is, so yeah. now i got to tat it all over, and it's a, it's... It's a it's a movement, you know. That's again, that's again. I like that. What made you want to start making music? Like, what was that one experience in your life that you were like, "Yes, I'm gonna do this." Well, it was a it, it's a it's kind of a long story. I'll try to sum it up. I started listening to Tupac. My mom let me go in the record store when I was a little kid, and this is back when you actually had to go in there, and it was when. It's, tapes were in the record yeah, stores yeah, yeah. too so they had cds they just came up but it was tapes and my mom was like pick whatever you want you know she wanted to see what i wanted to like mm -hmm. so i picked up two cds i picked up a kurt cobang cd and i picked up a tupac cd oh. and i loved them both and i played them all day every day that's all i did is just played these cds till the till the end mm -hmm. and my mom started hearing the lyrics in the Tupac song, and she's like, I don't know if you should be listening to this kind of stuff. And I was like, no, mom, this is what I want to listen to. So, you know, I, I, yeah. I kind of got my way with that one. She took a lot of CDs from me over the years that were a little bit over the top, but, you know, uh -huh. I, I'd always sneak back in her little, uh, she had a little office with a file cabinet, and I'd steal them back from her. So, and then uh, basically, uh, I really uh, got lost after high school and ended up doing some bad things. And, you know, I, I was sitting there at, in Ypsilanti on house arrest, and I was like, you know what, maybe I should go to school. Didn't know what I wanted to do, so I said, you know what, I really love music. Mm -hmm. I want to go to music school. Yeah. So I changed my whole life around. And ever since then, I took myself out of the streets and out of selling drugs and all that stuff and converted into something that could be way more prosperous and way more rewarding. Mm -hmm. So now we sit here and I've accomplished a lot of stuff and I'm still still niching away at it. So, so what type of music do you do? You do? I actually do a wider range. I started off mainly doing hip hop, and then uh, I started getting a lot of R&B clientele, and uh, I had switched my whole thing up to, you know, just kind of expanding what I could do because I love a certain type of music, but it's like I know that as far as a producer, you got to be able to kind of dabble with everything. So mm -hmm. I really sat down and. For three or four years just stuck at it and tried to really figure out concepts and ways that these people do these different kinds of music and I've dabbled with damn near everything I've done mm -hmm. 
country stuff. I've done EDM, trap, hip hop, and the list keeps going and going and going. You get some weird stuff. People want you to make African sounding stuff. That's and awesome. I love African sounding stuff. Yeah, so yeah, <laughs> get the bongos out and go crazy. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what it, it's all about. It's all about the feel and taking what the artist has envisioned mm -hmm. but doesn't know how to put it together and making it a reality and maybe even better than what he actually wanted it to be. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Who do you usually like to collaborate with? Um, I've collaborated with a number of people. I've done a lot of mixtape stuff, mostly uh, with the bigger names. It's mostly in uh, the major, uh, like, as far as the major labels go. I produce for Ace Hood, mm -hmm. Briscoe, uh, Ray J mm -hmm. from the VH1 show, or Brandy's brother, that's how people know him. Uh, Slim Duncan from the Brick Squad with Waka Flocka and, uh, and Gucci Man. Mm -hmm. Right before he died, he was from Detroit. Got a song with him where he's saying all Detroit stuff. And Royce to 5'9 from here under shady and just just a whole whole lot of people you know the whole detroit hip-hop music uh -huh. scene i've pretty much either know them have worked with them have done some kind of event with them or or something along the line so we we've just kind of this whole market is like I'm part of it. Yeah, we're going to get this stuff to the world because the world needs to hear it. We're in a digital market, and now it's like it's even hard to get people to press the play button when you post something. So it's all important to have situations where people have an outlet. Mm -hmm. And it's all about us all coming together, yes, together. to make something bigger happen because who knows? We're sitting here right now. We might be downtown in some extravagant private law right? with, <laughs> with a cook and everything next time eating mm -hmm. shrimp and steak, yes. you know? Yes, <laughs> yes, I do, I do, and like, I, I do tell a lot of people, you know, we gotta be working together because, you know, together we can achieve more and we gotta take care of each other. It's Detroit. It's it's the home of the Motor City. It's where the Industrial Revolution started, and it's a huge music city, so, mm -hmm. m with Motown and everything that's going on, and I'm, I'm glad that we're finally getting some exposure. Yeah, it's exploding right now, and, uh, you know, people are becoming, you know, they're all getting their statuses, and everyone's got their own little uh, look and mm -hmm. artsy feel, and it's just, this is home, and... Uh, it's the it's the best place to be if mm -hmm. you are a musician at this point in the world right now because there's all these satellite markets without the throughout the record industry and they've all kind of played their course and it's Detroit's time again it's, mm -hmm. it's coming back around and uh, there's no really else for w other way for it to go it has to come back up. Mm -hmm. And that's mm -hmm. where we are. We're in this mitten up here in this cold, weird weather. It, yeah, it, I know. <laughs> it was hot. It was 78 degrees the other day. Now I, I came here and started snowing. <laughs> you don't know what to expect out here. Yeah, I don't know what to do. You go out and wear some shorts and it turned 32 degrees. Yeah. That's what my whole project is about. Like, if you guys get a chance to listen to it, it's uh, on a lot of different sites. The main one is scottyrock.com, and it has the streamable option or the downloadable option. And, you know, it's all about struggle, you know, being in the entertainment business mm -hmm. and, you know, how hard it is to make it and the way that there's a lot of snakes and a lot of devious yes. people out to get you yes. or out to use you for yes. whatever it might be. And... Um, we're just uh, here to change all that because it's like, I don't need to mess with those people, no. you know? And, and nobody needs to mess with those people. No. And it's like now, you know, we're coming to a point where people are getting smarter in that just the culture period. It's like, okay, well, you're on that BS and I'm not gonna mess with you. Yeah, 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 I agree 100%. But it's okay, it's a part of life and people that you know, want to support you and help you out and be in your team that do come along the way. Yeah. They do, definitely. It's it's your vibes. Like, if you put positive vibes into the universe, it'll, you know, you'll get right. positiveness back. <laughs> right, that's all it's about. It's about us coming together and making something bigger than any one of us could have ever made. 
And as soon the quicker it happens with everybody, the the faster we're all going to get to where we need to be. And everybody is just searching mm -hmm. for happiness at the end of the day. Where do you usually play or uh, when are your upcoming shows? Um, well, I've done a whole lot of shows throughout the uh, whole Detroit area. Um, I have an upcoming show this Friday, actually. It's called Jays and Shades. And... It's got two pistols coming out, and and that's the dude that sings uh, "She Got It" with T Pain, and he's gonna be performing. Michigan Moses is gonna be performing, or Moses the God, some people know her as. Uh, she's a very talented local artist that's on the move and and going pretty fast. And then I got Cool Beans, who is a real dope hip hop MC. So uh, we kind of. And we got the guy from Stanky Leg who's going to bless the mic with the Stanky Leg. Yeah. <laughs> the Stanky Leg. <laughs> it's funny because I went to this uh, bachelorette slumber party last Sunday. And they were talking about the Stanky Leg. And, and they were like doing it too. It was so funny. <laughs> yeah, so, so we will be doing the Stanky Leg at Jays and Shades. We also have giveaways from MJ Diamonds, and we have all sorts of sponsors. It's in the Metro Times. It's on the radio. It's on Tap Detroit Radio. It's on 979. It's on 95.5. It was just on Oso Radio. So we're we're just turning it up, and we're, uh, we're going to bless the city, and we're going to listen to my project, Been Through Hell. It's my official release party. It's hosted by Young DA, and... You know, shout out to Mitch and at Club Blue downtown. Can you tell me a little bit about Sooner Than Later? Yeah, Sooner Than Later is a song that I have with Amber Lyrics. And Amber Lyrics is someone that I came across uh, working in this music industry. She was an R&B singer at the time. And I had recorded probably over, over 200 female vocalists at that time. And when she came, it was like a breath of fresh air because she could really sing. And mm -hmm. I mean, really sing. Like, she can hit all the octaves on the piano like Mariah Carey. So ever since then, we've done little stuff here and there. We've, we've done a lot of business and tried to get songs placed and stuff like that. And it was finally time for us to do one for us as artists instead yeah. of doing them for other people. And you know just put it to the floor and see what it does so this song is uh it's about it's a story about a a future girl that i haven't met yet mm -hmm. and um then amber starts singing about you know how like basically it's kind of like the vibe of the beginning of the relationship mm -hmm. and then in the second verse i go more into like all the stuff we've done because mm -hmm. now i've met the girl Mm -hmm. So it's a very I produced the record and it's a uh, it's got the Detroit hustle feel. Yeah. With the Motown chords. Yeah, that's and so good. beautiful piano riff. So check this one out. Y'all will love it. The video is coming soon and we working. Yeah. How about uh is it what now? What now? What now is actually a um it's a song about the music industry. And it's a very frivolous song. And what I mean by frivolous is that it talks about the money, the cars, the girls, the whole nine. And basically it's what everybody else thinks is it's going to make them happy. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like, okay, well, this is the perception of an artist mm -hmm. that is, oh, he gets all this and he gets that and he's doing this. So it's kind of just the you know all the seven deadly sins mm -hmm. of what people expect to see from a rapper mm -hmm. but i'm rapping it like it is me mm -hmm. so it's kind of like telling a story in itself too yeah yeah that's, that's awesome how about pay to roll pay to ball is it's another concept song and it's basically about not having to sell your soul in the music industry to make it mm -hmm. and it's about you know, uh, the different ups and downs you might encounter with different souls. Yeah, that's sweet. And then the one that you're doing, Been Through Hell. Been Through Hell. Been Through Hell is the title song to my project. Mm -hmm. And it's about 
going through hell, uh, making it as a starving artist and all the ups and downs and crazy stuff I've seen in this crazy yeah. city of violence and all the all the stuff, you know, and different situations and encounters with different people, and it's it's all in general. Well, ever since this song came out, it caused a lot of problems with different people because they thought I was talking about them, but I really wasn't. <laughs> I was just speaking in general. But if you think I was talking about you, then maybe you are the person that I am, the kind of person that I am talking about. Because uh -huh. why would you automatically assume? Right? I have no idea. But, you know, so we shot the video, and ever since the video, all kinds of crazy shit happened off that. It's like you said earlier, you throw some energy in the world, and it might come back. Yeah. <laughs> in the butt, so you know, but maybe it had to come out because yeah. maybe those people weren't meant to be yeah. around us yeah. on our mission. Okay. I'll do a little something. I'll do I'll do a little sixteen off uh, the song that I had with this guy named JSR, very talented artist. Yeah, uh, he he came through here. Oh, he did. Yeah, he did. He came okay. on the eleventh of uh, yeah this month actually. Okay, I yeah. So, so uh, we have a song called Detroit Living. And, uh, yeah, I get to hear it. Woo! <laughs> and I'm about to just say the verse off it. It's okay. all Detroit stuff, all about you know the city and stuff like that. So this will make you guys maybe want to go check out the project and test it out. We'll be at Jays and Shays this Friday, but here I go. I'm from the birth of the whip. We so ignorant with chips. I'm so draped in golden Gucci hoes be loving this shit. Hell yeah, no trick. Hell yeah, ain't conies. Bitch, we built Ford tough. You could never destroy me. And I can never go to jail for a misdemeanor neither. Cause that bitch so packed, pay a fine, see you later. But I do it for the kids with no water, with the shutoffs like a bear making hits. We so motherfucking hungry. Club pack, that's Loblo. 18 Rose Palm. My shade's on these hoes bad, and I'm trying to get that illage cash. You feel me? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. That was awesome. My Instagram is Scotty underscore rock. That's S-C-O-T-T-Y uh, underscore R-O-C. And my Twitter and uh, Facebook is Scotty Rock. And my website is ScottyRock.com. Shout out to my beautiful lady, Crystal. <laughs> who is uh, the angel in my heart, so to speak. And shout out to my mama and my dad, and shout out to God and my all my kids, because without children, you will not have the smiles that I've had. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Yay. Well, thank you for coming out. I really appreciate it. And showing the love here at tapdetroit.com. Okay. Thank you, thank, thank you so much. Thank you. It's your boy Scotty Rock, and I'm rocking with Tap Detroit. Check out Dos Lopez, 5 to 7 every Wednesday, and it's for the city. <laughs> Molly and I'm drinking lean uh -huh. Jays on my feet, bitches say I'm looking clean Fresh. Pockets so swole, seams ripping from the green Every day I be living the American dream Plugged in with that white, Ray-Bans, no buffs no. Killing hoes like OJ doing Dougie Fresh in the club Dougie. Drinking on this bug, shout out to my haters. haters All you do is talk that shit but you ain't getting no paper no. My bitch got Ferragamo pumps, I'm rocking Javinci yeah. Thursday through Sunday, I'm Cadillac pimping yeah. Other days I be in that 300 cruising down the line You rapping hard, you been to jail, but bitch you ain't got no bars You know what I've been through, you know what I've seen You know what I've been through, you know what I've seen You know what I've been through. You know what I've been through. You know what I've seen. 
Shot a stab, jump, beaten, bloody, but I'm still here. That only made me who I was, just to make it clear. And if I ever see any of you fuck bitches, your mama gonna be crying in my fucking sense. And I didn't come up fast up in this game to live this lifestyle. I worked for over 10 years, they saying I got dog ears. Blood, sweat, and tears when it come to this. Herbs wanna be, herbs wanna be.